Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about how to find settings for different pairs and uh, pretty much how much I've been making and just Gunbot in general, uh, general update video. So anyways, let's get right into the video. So a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what settings do I use? Uh, how should I configure my settings? Should I use Bollinger Band? Should I use Step Gain? You know, all of these questions. So I really wanted to address that in this video. Um, so as you can see here on the left, uh, I have my settings for this coin, but let me go ahead and change it. Maybe UBQ. All right. So as you can see here for UBQ, I have a BB as, or Bollinger Band as buy and sell. And I have the low Bollinger Band at 30 and the high Bollinger Band at 35. Now, in case you guys didn't know, I'll just go over this really, really fast. Uh, Bollinger Band here is... Uh, Go ahead and show you. So Bollinger Band, this isn't the token that I was uh, showing you guys on the bot, but Bollinger Band here is pretty much, if you're saying 35%, then that will be 35% above the uh, bottom Bollinger Band. So uh, pretty much 35% would be like around here. So the bot would buy, you know, right here around that area. Um, so for coins, obviously that fluctuate a lot. You want to buy at the bottom. So uh, if you're trading uh, Bollinger Band for the buy, then you want to make sure that uh, the low Bollinger Band is, uh, is lower because if it fluctuates a lot and it's hitting the low band a lot, then you wanna make sure you buy right at the bottom of the low band. And so that's when you'd set it to, you know, something like, uh, you know, 20. I wouldn't go much lower than 20 unless the coin is in, like doing insane movements. Uh, but you know, 20 to 30, uh, is about what I'd choose for a coin that's moving a lot. If a coin's just on an uptrend and it's making small dips, then you might want to change this to, you know, 40 or something higher. Uh, but that will get a lot of buys. And then obviously for the high Bollinger Band, it's the exact same thing. It's the percent above or below the uh, top band. So that's pretty much how I find, you know, my Bollinger Band settings. Um, now for step gain, step gain is pretty much the exact same thing. So percent above or below the est the market average that you want to use for buy or sell levels. So pretty much, uh, I for now what I'm usually using uh, as my settings is either buy as Bollinger Band and sell as Bollinger Band, or buy as Bollinger Band and sell as step gain, just because I find those are the best settings for the uh, different uh, coins that I trade. But anyways, what I do for step gain is, as you can see here, sell level one, sell level two, sell level three. So how this works is pretty much uh, if a coin goes 2% above the estimated market average. So let's just say this line right in the middle of the Bollinger Band uh, calculation is the estimated market average, right? So if, if this coin, say I buy here and the coin goes, you know, whatever, 2% above the market average. This is not the market average. I'm just using it as an example. But let's say it goes above 2% above the market average, then it will be leveraged to sell the coin at that spot. Does it mean it's gonna sell immediately at 2%? No. Um, it, if it keeps on going up, it will wait until it goes to 5%, and then the bot will be basically telling itself like, okay, maybe I should sell now. If I see you know smaller movements going down, uh, I might just sell anyway, just to secure my profit of 5%. Uh, and then sell level three is pretty much just saying it went up, you know, 40%, 70%, whatever, and I'm just going to sell no matter what. So that's pretty much how uh, step gain works. So if a coin is uh, fluctuating sideways, like it is right here, say I was trading this coin on a Gunbot, since it is making such large moves up, uh, and then going down a little bit smaller, you know, this is this is a coin that I would trade with step gain because I find that because step gain uh, calculates the percent above the market average uh, that it moves, it makes smoother uh, transactions in terms of buying and selling. So, um, so uh, what I would set for this is I would about leave it at the defaults here, you know, two percent, five percent, seventy percent, because if this coin goes up two percent, I want the bot to maybe sell. Uh, and then, you know, 5%, of course. Um, but let's say, for example, you have a coin that's moving a little bit less, right? You see this is an uptrend right here. It's moving smaller movements. So for this coin, what I would recommend in terms of settings, um, I would recommend, obviously, a Bollinger Band uh, for buying. Uh, and then for selling, I would either use uh, Step Gain or Bollinger Band uh, 
as for all my coins. But anyways, uh, what you'd set step gain to for this coin, for example, is you would set step gain to smaller percentages. Since here it may be only going up, you know, 3% from when you bought, you want, you want the leverage to be very high once it's at 3%. So if I was trading strat uh, on the bot and I was using step gain as my sell, I'd want to use the sell level 2 at 3% because once, once it goes up 3%, I want I want this bot to be ready to sell, you know. Uh, obviously, if it somehow shoots up seventy percent, I'll get a sell in. Uh, but I want it to sell at three percent. Now, another question that some people ask me is, can it buy it or sell uh, in between different step gain levels? Yes, it can. Uh, if a if a coin goes up four percent, it's not going to wait for it to go up to uh, to five percent or wait until it goes back down to two percent. Uh, it will uh, sell at 4%. It's just uh, leveraged differently. Uh, so pretty much if you want to get a higher volume of trades, then you set the uh, different levels to lower percentages. Um, and so, and obviously if you're using a Bollinger Band, then because it's not moving that much, you'd want to set the Bollinger Band to a higher percentage for sell. So uh, if the Bollinger Band is right here uh, and the coin goes up to here, then it will sell. Uh, so that's pretty much how I determine my settings. Now, obviously, a lot of people ask me, you know, can you set, can you share your settings? Can I get a screenshot of your settings and all your coins and everything that you trade? Now, the reason why I don't want to go ahead and show you guys all of my settings is because I don't want bots to get overly, or I don't want coins to get overly traded by bots, right? If say a uh, hundred people out of you know however many people watch this video, go ahead and copy my settings exactly down to the dot. Of uh, you know step gain percentages and uh, Bollinger bands, then pretty much whenever the coin hits this price, it's going to be harder for my bot to get that sell in because all of the other bots are also going to be selling. So that's why I instead of my approach to basically telling you guys how to make money with the bot is not so much go ahead and copy my settings because I also don't want to be you know liable if you guys lose money under my settings. Uh, but instead, learn how to make your own settings and make those as profitable as you can. Uh, and obviously, that's what I recommend. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my wallet for today. As you can see, if you compare uh, my wallet today to my wallet from yesterday, uh, today was a pretty good day. Uh, the coins that I'm trading have been doing really well. I can go ahead and show you what coins I'm trading here. Uh, so I got some UBQ going. Uh, Stratus was great today, as I just showed you guys the chart for it. Uh, MTL has been a great coin overall. I recommend you guys trade that. Um, yeah, but overall, my bot has been doing amazing these past few days. Uh, another thing that a lot of been a lot of people have been telling me is, you know, oh my gosh, the gun bot owner only makes twelve percent a month, and they're saying, you know, if he's making twelve percent a month and he made gun bot, you know, then twelve percent must be insanely hard to get, and you know, twelve percent a month is not that uh, good. Now, pretty much what I tried to emphasize in that video, but I'll just go over it again in this video, is that what he's doing is he's not changing his settings at all, right? He uses one setting to trade 65 different pairs, and that's that's all he's doing, right? Now, what I'm doing is I'm trading my, I'm changing my pairs, you know, almost every day, and I'm making sure my settings are good. And uh, so far in the past week, I have made around 18%. Uh, profit from what I've started at in terms of Bitcoin value. That is not uh, USD value. I trade in Bitcoin value because I want to get more cryptocurrency from this bot, not more money. Because, you know, I know that if I hold Bitcoin in the long term, I'll make money, uh, USD value money. But what I want this trade bot to do for me is make is make me more Bitcoin. So if I say, okay, I want to go ahead and stop this bot and just hold Bitcoin for a little while, I know I have more Bitcoin than what I started with, so I can make more money. That's pretty much what I want for this bot. So whenever you're looking here at Bittrex and your balances, I would pay more attention to your Bitcoin amount than your uh, United States dollar amount. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you guys, you know, get your settings going and get your bot, you know, as profitable as possible. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.